Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, kind of another application now. Um, I'm talking about the uh, Teradek Cube uh, transmitting to iPads and iPhones. Um, of course, we have the Terra Central, which is great for configuring. It's much faster than doing it from the Cube itself. And uh, they've got another app called Terra View. Now, that was just designed for um, people to watch. And uh, we're already on the uh, Teradek access point directly from the Terra Cube. There we go. And as you can see, it's uh, showing my face here. And this is great if, let's say, you want to uh, show uh, different people uh, whatever you're doing without giving them control of the actual application. Plus it has many different functionalities. You can go up to four different Teradek cubes, uh, depending on how you want to do it. Let's go ahead and, and play this. And it's uh, lagging a little. Oh, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and select that. You can actually uh, do up to four s simultaneously. Uh, there we go. And you'll see a slight lag because uh, that's the way it does it. Um, so yeah, this is great if you're going to give this, you're filming something, you want to show it to the producer, could be uh, the director or something like that, or even cast and crew, but you don't want to give them control. You just want them uh, to allow, see what the camera sees. Now, this is also great if, if you have clients, because you can actually, see we're shooting this in logs, so it's very desaturated, the colors aren't very good. So we can actually change the uh, LUT coming into it we're actually using C log and I can see 100. Uh, so we're going to change this to, uh, hopefully I get this the right one. We're going to try C log to rec 709, which is pretty standard. And there we go. And it's full color, desaturated. And this is, uh, if you don't do this, you just give them the log view of what the camera, camera actually sees. Then they'll be weird like, oh, this doesn't look very good. Am I paying for this? And normally you never want your client to see just the log fit footage. Um, so you can give them the TerraView app and then you put the LUT on it and they'll say the um, picture the way it's normally meant uh, to see. And plus you can do many things as well. And it's a little bit hard to see this. You can actually put a grid view for um, the rule of thirds. Um, different uh, there we go different ratios there's a uh, 4 by 3 ratio um, I think that's 16 by 9 basically um, here we go uh, cinema scope which uh, winds it a little bit further and I think this is orientation you can flip it depending on how the camera it, the camera might be actually filming upside down and then you can just uh, do quite a few things reverse for some reason. Um, you can also send audio as well. If uh, you have an audio coming into your stream, uh, I don't actually have a microphone set up to this. And uh, so this is a really cool app for, oh, let's bring that back. Really cool app just for viewing, just for, like I said, you want to, you don't want to give them full control using the Terra Central because then they can go in there, change settings, uh, streaming and things like that. Of course, I think you do have to put a plugin or a password to get to full function, but I don't even think the Terra Central version even uses the uh, full, uh, I don't think it even utilizes LUTs, I believe, from what I remember. I, I could be wrong, but I know the uh, Terra View does. So I just wanted to show you that. I thought it was a, uh, they actually came out with this um, sometime after the Terra Central, so that's why I didn't show you uh, before. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you later.